the universe is still a part of countless myths and legends. Which unknown heavenly bodies likely slumber at this very moment in the infinite lengths of the galaxy? Do planets exist out there that are comparable to our planet Earth? Is there possibly intelligent life in space? All questions we cannot answer at the present time. So there are still many galactic mysteries waiting to be deciphered one day in the future. Nevertheless, astronomers and astrophysicists have already made some sensational discoveries. The most famous of all published theses is the Big Bang Theory. For many years, it was certain that our universe saw its beginning with the Big Bang. A sensational thesis advanced by Sir Roger Penrose is shaking the world of the old established Big Bang theorists to its core. We'll now reveal to you what exactly it's about and from which revolutionary circumstances the renowned Britain hails. Are you interested in famous myths, groundbreaking discoveries, and mysterious riddles of the universe? Then subscribe to our channel and never miss out on one of our videos in the future. If you like the content of our posts, we would really appreciate a thumbs up. Feel free to take a look at the other videos we link to at the end of today's post. Now, let's set off together into the infinite reaches of space. The Big Bang, the galactic birth of our universe. The Big Bang is generally considered the hour of birth of our universe. Based on this theory, the term Big Bang describes the point in time when space, time, and matter were created for the first time. Experts agree that the famous Big Bang took place about 13.8 billion years ago. However, the name Big Bang is misleading. One could assume on the basis of the name that it was a violent explosion. Afterwards, our universe formed in fractions of a second. However, this is not the case. In the ranks of cosmologists, it is assumed that before the Big Bang, an astronomical singularity prevailed. Simply put, that means that gravitational force was so strongly pronounced that the curvature of space-time was practically infinite. From this original singularity, space, time, and matter emerged. This unique process is ultimately called the Big Bang in the technical world. The usual theories do not describe, however, the exact occurrence of the Big Bang, but deal with the state and the further development of the earliest universe. In fact, there is still no theory in science that explains the process of the Big Bang without any doubt. At this point, you might ask yourself how experts arrived at the world-famous Big Bang thesis at all. Within the research, experts consider the current development of the universe. As we have known for some time, our galactic home expands, which means that it expands ever more and more as time goes on. If one reverses this expansion now and considers it backwards, one arrives at the point where space, time, and matter must have been in a concentrated singularity. Even if the exact course of events of the Big Bang is still accompanied by some questions, scientists are nevertheless in agreement that the Big Bang represents the absolute starting point of our universe. Or is it? The famous British physicist Sir Roger Penrose is now shaking up the field of space research with his groundbreaking theses. But what exactly does the theory of the renowned Nobel Prize winner say? Sir Roger Penrose, A Life in Science Sir Roger Penrose has long been a great celebrity in the ranks of cosmologists. The Briton devoted virtually his entire professional life to researching Albert Einstein's world-famous theory of relativity. In 2020, Penrose finally received his scientific knighthood. Together with astrophysicist Andrea Ghez and Reinhard Genzel, the expert was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. Penrose, Ghez, and Genzel owed this to their groundbreaking findings during their research into black holes. 
For the first time, the scientists were able to indirectly prove that a gigantic example of this massive structure exists in the center of our home galaxy. However, the work of the former Oxford professor has been shaping the world of cosmology for many decades. As early as the 60s, he researched together with his colleague and close friend Stephen Hawking the phenomenon of the singularity, which we explained to you at the beginning of this video. These singularity theorems were supplemented considerably by Einstein's theory of relativity. At the same time, we received an explanation for the conditions prevailing in the impenetrable interior of black holes. The infinite thirst for knowledge of the now 89-year-old Britain seems never to abate, even in old age. The astute expert proved this once again in a speech at the above-mentioned Nobel Prize ceremony. The theoretical physicist remarks left both his scientific colleagues and the interested audience with dropped jaws. A universe before the Big Bang Incredible but true, Sir Roger Penrose stated that it was very likely that a complete universe existed before the Big Bang. The Britain drew proof for this from various black holes. Specifically, the scientist alludes thereby to a multiplicity of mysterious electromagnetic formations in the universe. These mysterious spots are called Hawking points in the expert world. The exact background of these galactic objects could not be explained for a long time. For Penrose, however, they represent the remains of an earlier universe that existed long before the Big Bang. How the renowned researcher brings these Hawking points into connection with black holes is quite easily explained. Those electromagnetic regions are the remnants of the radiation that was once emitted by black holes from an earlier universe. As to the question of what ultimately led to the end of this old universe, the expert had an answer ready. As we all know, our universe is ever-expanding with every second that passes. According to Penrose, however, this is a finite process. Thus, one day the time will come when the expansion of the universe is so pronounced that all the mass contained within it will decay. At the end of this galactic finale, only radiation shall remain. But what follows after it? Will the universe return to a state of perpetual timelessness? If one follows the explanations of the Nobel laureate, this is not the case. It is rather a cyclical process that will be set in motion again with a future Big Bang. Accordingly, our Big Bang would not be the birth of the first and only universe, but only a tiny intermediate chapter of a superordinate galactic sequence. However, not all of his scientific colleagues share the views of Sir Roger Penrose. To the doubters, the Briton replied that the theory of black holes was sharply criticized in the past as well. Today, however, we know without any doubt that these most massive entities in our universe do, in fact, exist. Do parallel universes exist? This groundbreaking theory leads us to another interesting line of thought. What if there were, indeed, other universes before our galactic home, and some of them still exist? Do parallel universes therefore exist? This red-hot question has been discussed among experts for many years. Many of you are probably familiar with the classic movie, The Matrix. Without knowing it, the consciousness of the protagonist is transferred into a parallel world, while his real body persists in a merciless, dystopian scenery. It becomes clear on the basis of such films that the fascination with the possible existence of parallel worlds still reigns in modern society. Within Parallel Worlds research, the physics professor, Max Tegmark, makes headlines again and again. The scientist, who researches at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, has dealt with alleged parallel universes for quite some time. For this Swedish-American expert, however, the question is not whether parallel universes exist, but only how many. According to his explanations, different kinds of parallel universes do exist. The most well-known thesis is the multiverse theory. 
This says that there are many different worlds in the universe which are confusingly similar to our own galactic home. The physics professor locates these fascinating parallel universes in unknown regions that light has not yet reached in the universe. A million years could pass before illuminating rays make these dark areas visible. Tegmark suspects that in the course of the Big Bang, not just one, but numerous universes were formed, which since then have been moving through space within self-contained bubbles. Each of these galactic soap bubbles is supposed to accommodate not only many different universes, but at the same time also completely different physical laws. These would differ clearly from each other regarding their characteristics. In the end, however, all physical laws within a universe are meticulously coordinated with each other. Another thesis of the researcher is based on the laws of quantum mechanics. This theory describes how atoms and particles behave. At the same time, quantum mechanics also states that the smallest particles can be in different places at the same time. If one continues this train of thought, this would mean that we humans could also exist simultaneously in different places. In practical terms, there could be infinitely many worlds developed from the different states of particles. We are certainly curious about which astonishing realizations will drop in the future on this topic. We hope we could inform and inspire you with our video. Are you a believer of Sir Roger Penrose's thesis? Have you ever wondered if there are parallel universes besides our own universe? Write us your ideas, suggestions, as well as your general feedback in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time.